Okay, so when we get started trading, like you wanna know what kind of time frame you're in. If you wanna start scalping like in the five, 15 minute candles, it's nice you can come get right in and see where you're at, like just at the bottom of the Bollinger Band right now. But if you wanna get a bigger picture, you always gotta back test, like go a little bit uh, further out so you can see where like the Great Britain US dollar is, or if you're trading stocks or anything, just you don't wanna just jump in naked and start trading. You wanna know what the overall trend is. So normally you go out to the hour candles. So each one of these candles is one entire hour, 60 minutes is this one entire uh, candle. So you can see around one o'clock this afternoon, okay? So this is we're trading Great Britain, US dollar. So when it goes up, the Great Britain dollar is strong, US dollar is weak. When it goes down, the Great Britain, the sterling is weak and the US dollar is gaining strength, okay? That's how the pairs work. You have your primary pair and then you have your um, the, the pair it's paired against. So up and down, easy buys and sells, okay? That's why uh, Forex is very, very appealing to people where you don't, if you wanna short it, you can just hit the sell button. You don't have to open up a short margin account like you have to do with stocks. This is very, very simple. Just hit the buy, hit the sell button. So you can see here around one o'clock, the Great Britain pound was going very bullish. It went up really good. Into two, uh, two o'clock, we had that big Fed meeting at 2, 2.30 today, and they announced that they're not gonna change the key interest rates, but they do have a backup stimulus package if they need to launch anytime, which when Powell was talking, I watched the video, he's kind of hinting that they might have phase two coming in the fall, and they're ready to pump the market anytime there they'll just be printing dollars pumping the market which in turn will decrease the american dollar because money will be going into the market so us knowing that then we know that great britain euro will be bullish the canadian dollar will be bullish gold will be bullish everything and we and the us dollar right now is at historic lows it's trading at 2017-18 lows right now. And then if it breaks one more critical support level, it's gonna go down to 2013 lows. And then there's one final support, critical support level. It breaks that, it's gonna go down to the 2008 financial crash, okay? Mm -hmm. So this is getting into a serious, serious time we're getting into. So, but it helps with trading. When you know that the US dollar is very weak, then these currencies will be very strong. So you can see here how when he announced that the US dollar was dropping and the Great Britain went up today. So that's around four o'clock. Then five, six, seven, you had some consolidation in here. And then here we are over here. So we're declining right now. You can see we're underneath this Fibonacci line. And I'll, I'll set up on, uh, show you guys how to set up Fibonacci's. So we're right under it. So it's kind of bearish um, right now for the time being. So the US dollar is strong right now, currently trading. So these are one hour candles, okay? So if you wanna start breaking it down to start seeing like this play break down, you look at your 30 minute candles, you can start seeing your 30 minute, like two of these equals one hour candle. So you can see it start breaking down here. And now we're below here, okay? And then you can come even further to your, get a better time picture on your 15 minute candles. You can see in here, your 15s are breaking down, coming down, okay? But then if you want to start like scalping, a lot of people like scalping on five minute candles. They try to come in and get three to five pips and hit those a couple times and they add up. And I'll explain what a pip is. It's a percentage in price, okay? When you're trading stocks, it's like a dollar twenty, dollar fifty. it's cents. Here, this has four decimal places. So it's right now the price is 1.2976. So if this drops down to 1.2975, that's a one pip drop, okay? That so you're seven, five, seven, six, seven, seven, those are one pips. If this goes to 86, that's a 10 pip move up, okay? And then when you're trading Forex, you can decide what lot size you want to trade with. So a standard lot size is a 1.00, which is $10 a pip. So if this went up 10 pips and you were doing a standard lot size, you would have made 100 US dollars, okay? And if the bigger your account is, you can increase your pip size. The smaller your account is, you can use a smaller pip size. As you get more comfortable and you get confident with trading, you can always increase pip size at any time, but always 
remember risk management, account management. Because if you don't know what you're doing, you can easily blow up your account if you're using the wrong sizes. Okay. And MetaTrader, for a lot of guys that are new to Forex, MetaTrader 4 is um, the platform that you use for buying and selling. And it also has a demo account. So you can do live, live trading with a demo play money until you get really comfortable at what you guys are doing. Okay. So that's a breakdown of the candles. Okay. And uh, we'll set up Fibonacci's right now. Okay. I already have them set up from a couple of days ago. We've been trading constantly, but we'll put some new ones as if we're starting to trade right now. So you want to set your Fibonacci retracements on a higher time frame, just so you can get a true support and resistance. At a, and then you can trade within your five minutes, 15 minutes inside that zone, okay? So come back to your one hour candles. You don't wanna go too far back. You don't wanna go like 30, 40 candles back, 30, 40 hours away. You just wanna get maybe 10, 20 candles. Just if we're scalping, we just need to know the direction where it is right now. So I can see a high right now, the Great Britain US dollar hit 1.3013, okay? So that was the high. You can see that top wick right there and it's also, it's written for you right up there. And then they also <laughs> mapped out a low, 129.12. So that's kind of like a 100 pip move, okay? So if we wanna set our Fibonacci's in that zone, what you do is, if you're using Weeple and all platforms have indicators, drawings, and it's very similar. So you come to drawings, you'll see Fibonacci retracement right here. You click on it and you wanna go high to low. So you wanna find like a full retracement or you can go low to high, whatever you like. And so we map it right there, 30, 13, okay? Try and get it as accurate as possible. Let me just go back here. Okay, so we're gonna map it right here and then drag it down to that 129.12, the low of that period, okay? So right about there. And you see how it's red? Uh, I like to select a different color. I select this color. You guys can do whatever you want, personal preference. And you can see where we're at in the zone now. So you can see it, the top of this red candle, there's the wick at the 1.3013, and it clearly got rejected, okay? You can tell by the top wick. And I'll go into our next, um, right after I explain this, I'll go into explaining what candles are, bodies, wicks, tails, all of that. So it came clear rejection, and it pushed down. And then it tried the next candle, was bullish, went back up, and got pushed down. So you can see, and then finally, it started moving back up. We had a little doji here and then started to break down here. So we finally broke this support line. This is the critical Fibonacci 78.6%, okay? And it's even mapped out 1.2991. We broke it here in the one hour and we're below it. So we're inside this next zone. And now you can see we're in this zone right now. We might be breaking this one, 1 1.2974. This is the golden zone in a Fibonacci. The 61.8%, it's a golden zone. This is like the heart of consolidation. And if it breaks this, then it, it, you can continue to the downside. If it holds this position, we'll probably get some consolidation in here tonight until the UK session opens around 3 a.m. But if it holds here, then it's showing that there's strong support here and we might have a bounce back to the upside. Then it's gonna go back into the 78.6 zone and we might break the 100% zone and we might break this high of 1.3013 and we might have a little breakout tonight. That's if the Great Britain pound is strong and the US dollar is weak, okay? So this is the one hour candles. Now, if you wanted to start your scalping to get in here, you could come into the five minute candles and do you see how the five minute candles were inside the zone? There it is, the 78.6 and the 61.8. So we're in this zone right now. This is called channel trading, okay? And you can eat, you can scalp here as much as you want, you know? Or you can play longer time frame candles. It all depends on what type of trader you wanna be. So you can see clearly, we had a breakdown on the five minute candles. So if you took that short right there, it was 29.84. Right now it came, look at this. This is, came, this is kind of textbook, look at this. It came right down to the golden zone, Fibonacci, 61.8. And look at the tail it's formed. It came all the way down and it's getting rejected. So it's finding a little bit of support here. And that's what that tail is telling you, okay? And that was 74. So right there, if you took that short at 84, that breakdown, five, 10, 15 minutes, these are five minute candles, you just collected 10 pips on the way down, okay? And we might have a little bit of a reversal here. 
but we'll watch it play out. And also main chart um, indicator you can use, there's these things called Bollinger Bands, okay? And you simply come to your indicators and you can select this one B-O-L-L and it's a Bollinger Band. It's a very common main chart indicator that a lot of traders use. And what it consists of, it's three lines, okay? Consists of this white line up here. This is the upper Bollinger Band, okay? And it has this yellow Bollinger Band on the bottom. This is your bottom band, okay? And in your middle signal line, it's this blue purple line. It's your 20 day moving average. And it's separated by two standard deviations up and down from the signal line, okay? So it's pretty accurate. And what it is is, uh, it's pretty accurate where the price will bounce around in those bands, okay? So when it comes to the bottom of the band, most likely it's gonna bounce off the bottom of the band and come back up to the signal line. The signal line is acting as a, it's a magnet. The price is gravitated toward that, okay? Unless there's a major breakdown, okay? but it wants to come to that signal line and test it there. And that's gonna act, if you're on the bottom, this signal line will act as a resistance. And if it breaks the resistance, that signal line, then where's it gonna go? It's obviously probably gonna test the top of the Bollinger Band and see if we break it there. But it'll bounce around in that zone there, okay? So you can use that also for scalping. Um, okay, and then different platforms have different colors uh, if you wanna change the colors on them. It's all personal preference again. 